today I'd like to show you the new Killin' Floor by Slash and Brian Johnson. Originally done, of course, by Howlin' Wolf and quite a few other people. I'm not even sure if he was the original. Very popular blues song. It was really cool to see something trending for blues today. Don't see that very often. So I thought I'd show you how to do the intro and the main riffs. I'm tuned to G. G, D, G. The song is in A. And it starts up here on 16, 18, and 19. And there's a rhythm to this. There's a bunch of down and ups and all that stuff, but it... So it kind of works if you go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. 1, 2, 3. Now, I'm not going to show you the rhythm on each chord because it's basically the same, subtle variations, but that's basically the rhythm. And you can use that everywhere that you hit a chord. And I will also show you, um, I'm way up high on the neck here to try to get as close to his voicing as I can. Um, and you might not have this many frets. So I'll show you other chords that you can use in just a couple minutes. So that's the E7, then you go to the D7, same thing. Then you go to the A7 here. Well, that uh, D7 was. 14, 16, 17, and now we're down here in 9, 11, 12, same rhythm. And then this is different. This is now E7 again. We're turning the song around. This is the turnaround, the 5 chord, and we're going to hit it 8 times. So we don't follow that same rhythm there. And every time it goes to the 5 chord, they do that. Then you're into the main riff of the song, which is very straightforward, but a little tricky to get it quite the way they're doing it. First of all, it's uh, down here on two, and you want to mute with your right hand palm a little bit. You don't necessarily want to go... I mean, that's up to you, right? So you do that twice, then you go up here to six, hit it four times, then seven, three times, and then eight once, nine once. So I'll play that really slow. See, there's a little phrasing thing there on seven. So on six, you got the straight fours. On seven, you got little pause. And these down up lead you into the eight and nine. muted. And if you skip a couple little notes there trying to get it up to speed, don't worry about it. It'll sound fine. So you play that lick four times, and then you go over to the D string. So you do the same thing, except this will now be down two frets. And you do that twice, like any blues, this is just a 12-bar blues. Then you go back over here to two, twice more on the main riff. And then we go to the five chord, which I'm not going to go up here and do anything. Uh, it doesn't sound like it goes back to that for that part. So I'm going to go here, nine, nine, seven. Anything like that. You can do the original rhythm. Although that seems a little busy for that part of the song. Something like that. Then down to D7. And then to the main riff. Two, six, seven, eight, nine. When you're going to hit that nine on the turnaround, use a different finger. Preferably your second. Jump ahead because you're going to go. Kind of like this. And that's that eight beats turnaround again. And then the song starts again. There's a couple of places where it uh, starts and stops to let people solo and stuff. But basically, it maintains a 12 bar th throughout the entire song. So that's all you really need to play the intro and to get through the entire song. So, substitutes. So for this E7 chord that I'm playing all the way up here, you can go down here and play E7 here, which still sounds pretty close. And that's 9, 
12. And 13. Now, if you're having a little trouble pressing this down, one thing you should know is your strength isn't really uh, just here. You've also got your shoulder, because you're holding usually anyway, you've got your arm on your cigar box guitar. And if you pull with your shoulder, the shoulder up here, you can see that you could actually probably break the thing. You know, you have a lot of strength. As soon as you do that, maybe you notice that you have way more finger pressure. So sometimes instead of, I've seen people sort of push the guitar ahead, they're squeezing so hard and trying so hard to get a chord. You know, if you just pull the guitar in with your shoulder, you could almost negate your thumb, you know? So if you're having trouble with that chord, that's one way to do it. Also, if you can't do that chord or you don't like it, then you can just go and start with the uh, 997. It'll be great. And then the D7, that way or this way, which would be um, 7, 10, 11. And I would just do this 220 for any of the A7s. So there's your substitute chords. Hope you have a lot of fun with this tune. Have a great day.